The Whispering Forest of Aokigahara, Japan. Deep within the shadowy depths of Aokigahara Forest, at the northwest base of Mount Fuji, lies a place shrouded in mystery and whispered tales. Known as the Sea of Trees, this dense forest is infamous for its historical association with Yurei, the vengeful spirits of Japanese folklore. The air is thick, the ground uneven with twisted roots, and an eerie silence pervades, broken only by the occasional rustle of leaves or the distant, mournful call of an unseen bird. Legend has it that those who enter Aokigahara with sorrow in their hearts are drawn deeper into the forest by an unseen force, a call that preys on their darkest thoughts. Travelers have reported hearing whispers when alone, words that seem to echo their deepest fears and regrets. Some say these whispers are the Yure, trapped between worlds, seeking companionship for their endless wandering. One chilling tale recounts a group of hikers who ventured off the path, drawn by a curiosity for the unknown. As night fell, the forest grew unnaturally quiet, and the air turned cold. They began to hear whispers, soft at first, then growing louder, each voice distinct, yet speaking in unison. The voices begged for release, for someone to join them in their eternal solitude. Panic set in as the group realized they were hopelessly lost, the whispers growing ever closer. By dawn, only one hiker emerged from the forest, speaking of shadows that moved and voices that promised an end to pain. The others were never found, adding to the forest's grim lore. The Crying Woman of La Llorona, Mexico In the heart of Mexico, winding through the tales of every town, is the legend of La Llorona, the Weeping Woman. It is said that in the dead of night, by the banks of the river, one can hear the haunting sobs of a woman, cries so filled with anguish that they chill the soul. This spectral figure roams the watersides, draped in a long, white gown, her face hidden beneath a veil of tears. The story tells of Maria, a woman who, in a fit of madness and despair over a lost love, drowned her children in the river. Upon realizing what she had done, her grief was insurmountable. She threw herself into the same waters, hoping to join her children in death. However, instead of finding peace, she was condemned to wander the earth as La Llorona, searching endlessly for her children in the afterlife. Many have claimed to see her by the water's edge, her cries a warning to those who hear them. Parents use the tale to caution their children not to wander at night, for La Llorona might mistake them for her own and drag them into the depths in her eternal grief. 3. The Midnight Bus of Taipei, Taiwan Taipei, a city alive with the buzz of the living, harbors a phantom that preys on the night. The legend of the midnight bus, a spectral vehicle that appears on the roads after midnight, is a chilling reminder of the thin veil between the living and the dead. It is said that this ghostly bus picks up unsuspecting passengers, those lost or wandering the streets late at night, offering them a ride to destinations they will never reach. One fateful evening, a young man named Lin ventured home after a late night with friends. He waited at a bus stop, the city around him eerily quiet. A bus approached, its number not listed on any schedule. Thinking at a stroke of luck, Lin boarded, finding the bus oddly empty and chilled. As the bus moved, it seemed to pass through the city at an unnatural speed, the outside world blurring into shadows. Lin soon realized that the bus was not stopping, and the few passengers who were on board seemed distant, their faces obscured. A growing sense of dread filled him as he noticed the driver's face was never visible in the mirror. When he demanded to be let off, the bus finally stopped, and he found himself on the outskirts of the city, far from where he intended to go. When he turned to confront the driver, the bus vanished into the night, leaving Lin in the cold silence. The midnight bus is whispered about among the residents of Taipei, a cautionary tale against wandering alone at night, for you might just find yourself on a journey from which there is no return.